Hey guys, welcome to Moving On TV and Newsflash. And we've got the lovely guests are coming back on again uh, to tell us about the next protest, which is Sunday the 26th of July. Um, I'm going to find out as much as possible that I can from him, uh, as many details as I can about where, what and how, and to find out how it went since we last talked, because the time is going so quickly. I think it was a week ago, uh, maybe more than that. Anyway, welcome to News Flash. Please subscribe, share, and like. Um, send this around everywhere so we can get enough people to join Geza and stop the experimentation on innocent children. They are not allowed to do that anymore. We're putting our foot down. We don't allow them to experiment on guinea pigs and rabbits and little animals. Well, <laughs> There is absolutely no comparison as far as I'm concerned. So we're putting our foot down and we're ending it now. Okay. So hi Geza, how are you today? It's so good to have you back again, sweetheart. Yeah. Geza, hi, how are you? It's really good to have you back again on Moving On TV. And today we're going to talk about the new protest, which is going on on Sunday, tomorrow, the 26th. And, but first of all, tell us how you've got on since since we last, I last interviewed you, how did the 20th go? Uh, the 20th was great. So I'm just going to explain now on, because on live feed now, also on Facebook. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, Geza Frankman. I'm speaking to Moving On TV. Uh, so you're going to get it second hand. Uh, she's kindly recording it and then she's going to put it out there. And this is to plug uh, tomorrow's uh, protest, third protest across from Downing Street. So welcome, everybody. Welcome, moving on TV. So we're going to do a double whammy. It's going to be a bit weird, this. Right, we're so what's happened since uh, last week? Uh, well, just the information that the overcounting, you know, they've doubled the, uh, the amount of uh, uh, numbers uh, that uh, people being infected and dying of, of COVID-19. And it seems that uh, Hancock has brushed it off and also is exempt uh, from wearing a mask where everybody else is. Now, the bad news today was... Uh, I was outside Wix and I was outside B&Q while I was doing some uh, re little bit of research and, and typing up the speech for tomorrow or the reasonable request for tomorrow and everybody's wearing masks. Oh, for God's but sake. it's not a bad thing because what happens is that um, but, and then I went in and walked around with no mask on. So yeah. what they will do is they'll go start taking their mask on and go, he's not got a mask on and that will knock on. So I don't want exactly. people to feel dejected because remember at the beginning when we're, you know, uh, every, everybody's in lockdown, we've got to feel our way first of all, and then we start getting rational and this is just a knock. So don't worry about that. People are wearing masks in the shops now. Uh, they will soon come off when they see other people like us not wearing masks. So okay. that's what's happened since last time. And that came in on Friday. Mm -hmm. Now tomorrow uh, we're putting a call out for any doctors, anybody knows any doctors or nurses, we need them to speak up because the main thing, not only are we firing up the parents to protect the children against the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the vaccines being tested on our children that, were, uh, that failed on animals. And by the way, uh, Kennedy spoke two or three days ago, you know, uh, Robert, Robert Kennedy, Kennedy Jr. Jr. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. a high ranking lawyer. I didn't realize how many wins he had had. But he also mentions the uh, macaque monkeys that these, these uh, vaccines failed on. So this is absolutely real, all right? Uh, and they're being tested in Oxford on children from the age of five to 12. So all the parents have piled up. Now, the main thing- okay, Sorry, guess I've got to stop you there because one question I never ask you is, where did they get, where, did, where are they getting the kids? Where are they getting the kids? Yeah. Uh, who knows? Who knows? You see, the thing is, I'm not even going to surmise where they get the children from. Uh, my my uh, Facebook has just gone off now. <laughs> Isn't that unusual? Uh, it's trying to reconnect. It's been fine all the time, and now it's trying to reconnect. Typical, cool, yeah. Yeah, so where they're trying to get the, the children... I'll just keep the continuity going. Keep going. So where they're trying to get the children from is, it, let's say all the parents don't have to, you know, don't allow their children. And we know some parents will do. Uh, well, then they're going to go to where they can get the children from. So that's going to be children in children's homes or in care or, you know what I mean? So that's obvious. That's what that will happen because they need children. They need to test these vaccines. Uh, what we're finding out now is uh, very simple. That Everything they've said so far, the government is absolutely wrong. People have died under their watch. 
So what we're doing now is we need to give a voice to the doctors and the scientists that we now know and the doctors that have been signing these death certificates because once this starts to snowball and more doctors, which will happen, I guarantee it will happen, but we have to give them a, a, a platform. We also have to give them a backing and support as well. Uh, so, you know, there is, there's, uh, everything that's got to be done in steps. So doctors are already speaking from the, from the fringes, retired doctors, scientists and doctors from other countries. Uh, uh, and, and once we get the NH staff, the ones that's actually literally been signing these uh, death certificates uh, and, and seeing how they have been treated, uh, the injections that's been going in, the people that have been tested, because apparently we, we're hearing now that people are dropping that are having these vaccines being put into their arms now. Now, what they normally do is do 40, they do 45 people and do 15 people at the low dose, 15 people at the middle, middle dose, and 15 people at the high dose, right? And then that way they can gauge what they need, what, how much they need. Uh, so these people, if they're hospitalized, then you, you'll have a percentage then of, of how, how dangerous it is. The thing is now is, we, I learned today that uh, once one of these vaccines was less than 48 hours or 48 hours testing. It was only tested for 48 hours. Now Ebola, Ebola, the one that was properly done, took five and a half years, and that's one of the quickest ones to get that tested, Ebola vaccine. Unbelievable, Geza. I mean, well, that's what we need to do now. We need to get, yes. and these, these sage, their experts, Boris Johnson at the table. That's why they're running. That's why politicians don't see us face to face. Cameron never saw anybody face to face. Uh, it was rare that Maggie May saw anybody face to face. Boris Johnson is a coward. He is an absolute lazy coward. And if we get him at the table, we get him out, we get him talking, it's game over. It's absolute, him and Hancock, it's absolute game over. And what we do then, we bring down the poison politics. I am down in August, the whole of August, to bring down the government. That's why I'm there. I will I'm settle for anything else. I'm with you. Yeah, we will, and we can do. What I'll they do to this you. country is unacceptable. It's illegal, it's unlawful, it's genocide. And they're doing it for big farmer. Big farmer that have admitted and, and, and pleaded guilty. All of them have pleaded guilty. All they have had is fines. They are protected by their own stooges that are running the governments around the world. We can bring down the new world order. We can bring down the, uh, the elites and Bill Gates of this world because we didn't vote for them. They haven't got sovereignty over us. We have sovereignty over our children and our lives. And what we do now is we push forward. By the way, two weeks ago, Serbia brought down their government two weeks ago, Serbia, right? And they are going to uh, get the politicians going back to 2000 in court. They've banned 5G. They've got community groups, and that's exactly what we can do in this country. We, like I said, we are a country of, of market traders and builders and uh, uh, innovators. And we've just got to believe that again. We've just got to get back to that. And that's it. And we take the power away from, from, uh, from Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson is not a leader. He never will be. He never has been. He's a coward. He's an absolute big yellow strike down his back. And I'm going to take him on. I'm going to be every single day down there in August. Across from Downing Street, he's going to know who Geza Fratman is by the end of this. He's going to know about parent power. I'm the sane in this country that know exactly what's going on. We're going to bring down this government. Sounds wonderful. I love it. I can't... Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay. So you've got another protest going on. On the 26th. On the 26th. Sunday, August. high noon, I presume. Same it's always high noon. If there's going to be a meeting, there's always high noon. It's always high noon. Okay. So tell us about that one. Tell us uh, again, that's, we've got a, a stage yeah. down there. We've got a good sound system. By the way, that sound system isn't just a tannoy anymore. It is now a proper PA system. And you can hear me at Downing Street. Fabulous. It's directly across and down, and there's no way that Boris Johnson cannot hear me speaking down at Downing Street. Uh, so that's going to be at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Like I said, we are pleading, absolutely pleading with any medical staff, doctors, anybody that knows what they're talking about, anybody that's got any court cases, anybody that needs any support, anybody with any ideas how we can bring down this government and get them in court. Any legal teams, any legal advice about the mask, how, how you get, you know, again, you just say no. I don't want the mask and that's it. Of course. Have you got a poster? Have I got a poster? The whole I, have, yeah. I have got a poster, yeah. 
What have you got there? <laughs> oh, this is Norman. Norman, okay. That's Norman, yeah, Norman. Norman, he's got a bad name, Norman. What Norman it is? Yeah. Oh, I he's see. He's got a bit ill. He's got a bit sick now, is Norman. Yeah. No, I what it is, it Norman. Well, he's been ill. He's had flu, as Norman. Right. He, when he came back, he's now the COVID. Everybody hates him. He don't like. He's quite a nice chap. He's oh, our, our Norman. Norman. Norman might be making a visit tomorrow as well at Downing Street. But Norman's <laughs> not a bad chap. Yeah, Norman's a yeah. They're calling him COVID now. His name's Norman. He's not COVID. Uh, he's nice. He is as a cold. Uh, I saw. So I'm going to put him down. Don't feel too well. Not feeling too well. Okay. Show us. Show us the new poster. That's the poster. Okay, lift it up a bit so we can see. Okay, just turn up. Power and power. It's I'm going to, I'm going to turn it. And then you'll send that I'll to me. I've turned, the, I've turned the live feed off. I'll do another live feed afterwards. Delete. Okay. Because you're going All to right, turn that's just come back again, so it's pointless. All right, so okay. that's the poster. And then lift that up a little bit. Okay, 26th of July. There you go. Just turn up. Downing Street. Power 12 o'clock. It's time to rebel with hugs and kisses. Only parents and the same can stop Boris Johnson testing vaccines on children that failed on animals. Tell Bill Gates our children's help does not have a price tag. That's fantastic. Well, we're going to send that. That's, we can send you that as well, so you can tag that onto it. Yeah, I'll put it uh, on. The other thing is, those people are on that photograph. We were hugging there. You see, we can beat this government with hugs and kisses because that's what they don't want us to do. They don't want us to socialise. They want to keep us apart. They want people to have mental illnesses, uh, depression, suicidal thoughts because they feel cut off. And they're not cut off. And if they get down to Downing Street and they can show, and believe me, in August, you are going to see a major shift this summer. The, it's stolen spring, it's stolen summer, and the end of the summer, we get back our government we get back our country that it. we deserve i love it i really love it just before we go it's really yeah. interesting that you're talking because about doctors and nurses because i sent a message out to find some doctors and nurses specifically doctors gps because guess what? people are terrified they're too scared to go to the doctor now i mean with every, any condition what if you break your leg what if you have an accident we need a list for every part of the country, we need a list of genuine GPs that haven't bought into this nonsense, that know it's not a pandemic, it's a pandemic. Yeah. And so I'm with you on that totally. So we need to do that in order to help. There's so many people that are living in total panic and fear now. And, uh, you know, it's a, good, it's a really important question, as I said. What happens if you're injured? What, where do you go? Who are you going to go to? We need to know which hospitals, which doctors are genuine now. Do you know why? Do you know each other? Well, when we're at Downing Street, that is going to be the control hub. So it won't be 10 Downing Street controlling the country and giving you the good information. It will be us and the protest pen across. Every single day, we'll give you the latest updates. We'll give you information. We'll give you people you can contact in your areas. We'll bring communities together and we'll make sure that you get the latest update. So all of August is going to be the day that we push back. The whole of August from the protest pen. And the thing is, if all the internet goes down or we can't get in contact with each other, you know where I am going to be. You know that I will be across from Downing Street and you can phone me up and contact us because we are going to be full on in August. We're going to bring down this government and every single day, Boris Johnson looks out of his window, he's going to see me pointing the finger and saying, we want you out, we want you sacked, we want you in prison, we want you in court for killing our people. And that, nothing less will do. When he said that he's going to steal Christmas, like the Grinch, that is the line in the sand. What do children look forward to every Christmas? What is Christmas about? It's about your God. They want to crush our religion, our families, and our children's futures. And that, I guarantee, will not happen. Mm -hmm. We will not allow it to happen. Exactly. I mean, I'm thinking as moving on TV as well. You know, we're the new media. I want to be the new mainstream at some point. Well, if the internet goes down, I would just film everything on my camera and get screens. And I put my screens up. All that, hey, well, that's, what that's all we would do. We would say, send everything, get everything to each other by post. 
Yeah. Um, and that's what we would do. Well, let's hope it doesn't happen. Anyway, I've got to go off now. Great idea. Great <laughs> idea, by the way. Fantastic <laughs> idea. Well, you have to think of everything. You know, as I say, editing can be done without the internet. That's not a problem. You can edit the programs. It's just in order to put them on, we'd, we'd go back. We'd go back to the way things were. We'd yeah. drive in cinemas, you know, drive in. We get big screens and we put everything out there on the screen. So it's been wonderful talking to you. I love your energy, Geza, because you are talking to a lot of people that are on their own and isolated. A lot of people are on their own. They're getting depressed. They're lonely. They don't have work to do like luckily I do and some of us do. And they don't have the family supporting them. So they need to know what's really going on. And please, God, by the time it gets to Christmas, Trump will be in. We will annihilate this system and we will all have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. All the kids will be free. It, it's going to be the best Christmas ever. Well, hold on. We've got to do a lot of hard work before then. <laughs> yeah, we do not shirt from hard work. It's going to be hard work. It's going to be a lot of pain. But if we do it now, we our children won't be slaves. That's what we've got to fight for. We don't exactly. want our children to be slaves. All right. Okay, so thank you, Geza. So you know where to go on yeah. the 26th, tomorrow, high noon, outside Downing Street. Geza's going to be there, and he's going to be there all through August, and no doubt I will figure out a way how to get to you all from <laughs> filming. This all is right. TV community on YouTube. Please join us, subscribe, share, and like. And <laughs> Have a beautiful, beautiful evening. You're looking amazing. You look so full of energy and so happy. I can't really stop. Incredible. incredible. Yeah, I can't stop. Yeah, well, good luck. And All right. You know, God be with you. Love be with you. Take care, sweetheart. See you later. Okay, bye bye now. Bye bye. -bye. Thank you.